Hi, this is Origami Boy Wonder, and today I will be showing you how to make an origami cube. Just like this one. Now, I cho chose to use regular origami paper, but you could pretty much use any kind. I would suggest a more sturdy kind of paper, but you're going to need six pieces of origami paper, any color you like, but all the same size. Try to follow these instructions and make them like, and make them pretty much as perfect as you can because it's cre uh, origami creation with pieces. So the pieces won't combine that good, get to stick together, lock together if the pieces aren't made that, if the pieces aren't made pretty much almost pretty good. So. Here, you're gonna to start it, you're gonna take the paper color side down. Fold it in half, like so. Try to get it as perfect as you can. Then, make the crease with your fingernails. Then when you open it up, there's a crease in there, as you can see. Now fold the ends onto the pretty much really close to the crease because you need to get it really close but still with a bit of space in between. Then crease both sides with the fingernails, kind of like so. Then the other side. And it should look like that. Then when you have it like this, take the corners, take the corn, take this corner, fold it up as perfect as you can so that's flat with the top. Crease it with your fingernails. Like that. Unfold. Do it this way. I like to turn it over like this and do it same thing that looks like this once you want to do it is this X and you have then other side do the same thing And it should look like this. If you fold this, if you keep it, well, unfold that. You should have an X. When it's like this, fold this one along this crease and along that crease for that one. And it should look like that. And then unfold this part. Kind of fold back only on this top half of the crease right here. Don't leave it. This one still needs to stay like this. This half, valley fold, this half, mountain fold. Then, do the same thing. Well, no, take this, lift up that one crease part, and squash fold it. Then it should look like that after you're done squash fold, fold it like that. Then turn it upside down like this, do the same thing to this side. The one that looks like that. You see these little white flaps right here? Fold those down, like so. That 
it looks like you just have two white triangles there, kind of like a square. This kind of looks like a side, doesn't it? Then when you do that, take these pointy parts, fold them down. Do the same thing to the other side. And there's one piece of it. Here's the back. Here's the front. And then you will need to make five more of these. But luckily, since I don't know how to skip time in YouTube, I made the other five pieces along with that one ahead of time before the video. So now, to join them, You know the little white flap right here? The little white flap with this. And you know this part, the pointy part? You want to slide this under there. But make sure that it kind of goes under. The flap kind of makes it go like that. And then you keep doing that to all the sides. kind of hard to do it in the air so that's why you need to really do it on the table that I have to do it in the air because I don't really have a tripod and my camera taped to a box yeah you heard right my camera's taped to a box Now this last piece is kind of tricky. There are two flaps that you need to stick the pointy parts into and two pointy parts that you need to stick into the flaps. What I do is I bend these flap the pointy parts up so that it looks like that. Take the pointy parts of this last piece, put them into things. Put them into the flaps. And as always, keep the make the little white thing go under it. And then for these, then for these parts, these flaps, I fold this up like, like that. Fold one down at a time. Take the flap out. Kind of just slide it under and do the same thing for this one. Bend it down. Take this. And that is your gummy cube. Oh, it's exactly like this one. Oh. And that's it.